As a little warning, I'm a bit under the weather. I sound like a prepubescent teen, like I haven't hit puberty. I apologize. I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do about it. So if you feel like hanging out with somebody who's like a prepubescent teen today, come hang out with me. May I submit to you today the idea that sometimes it's not just about the job you're working. Have you ever felt like the job you were working was pointless? Have you ever felt like the job you were working was silly and there was no idea behind it? Have you ever hated your job that you're working? I think we can all agree to that. Have you ever hated your job so much that you wanted out so bad? May I suggest to you today that it's not about your job, it's about what you find out during your job. It's about the purpose, the calling behind it, the what's and the why's. See, over the past month, I've had a lot of time to read and there was something in The Heart of Darkness by Joseph Conrad that I wanted to share with you guys specifically on jobs. I found this paragraph stuck out to me and for a certain reason because as a man who's worked jobs and has worked jobs for a lot longer than other people, I know many people who have hopped from job to job. I like to call it the bunny hop. They go from here to here to here to here to here. I've worked at jobs for a long time. I've worked four, five, six years. And while working at these jobs, I've come to realize the things that I don't want. And we're gonna get into that. No, I don't like work. I had rather laze about and think of all the fine things that can be done. I don't like work, no man does. But I like what is in the work. The chance to find yourself, your own reality for yourself, not for others. When no other man can ever know, that can only see the mere show and never can tell what it really means. I'm one of these people who, who, who struggled for a long time in the jobs that he was working because I found that there was no point behind them. I always thought I was working these jobs because I had to work these jobs. But one thing I come to realize is, is working the jobs, there's always a lesson behind it. God doesn't put these things into action without there being a lesson behind it. There's always something behind the lesson. And you can see I'm pulling the Alex Harmozy today with this strip on my nose because Trying to breathe isn't bad, but I, I could definitely use the extra assistance from some medical care. You know, coming from somebody who's worked prolonged periods at jobs, who's worked for, for jobs for four years or, you know, five years or whatever it may be, coming from somebody who's worked with a company for a while, one thing I've dealt with is frustration. And I know a lot of people deal with frustration often is because you feel like you're working for somebody who don't care. So you feel like you're not compensated in a way that's in comparison to the work you provide to somebody, it feels like there's no equal trade-off. While some people will agree with me and some people won't because some people have worked for great companies, I'm one to say that the work that I provide and the things that I provide for the company, sometimes it doesn't feel like I'm adequately benefited from compensation. It doesn't feel like I'm getting paid enough or it doesn't feel like I'm honored enough and frustration comes with that. You know, but that's one thing that's interesting too is because you realize that through the lesson of learning and through being in that job, you learn the lesson of frustration. You now know what you don't want. You gotta switch your mindset. You gotta be able to think on your feet and go, okay, maybe I'm working this job right now, but what is it teaching me? What am I learning from it? What am I gonna come and what am I gonna get through this? What am I going to gain from working this job that I don't wanna work? And one thing I've learned very well is that I don't want to work for somebody else or I don't want to work for somebody who doesn't have good in their mind or who doesn't realize the benefit that I could bring to a company through that frustration. I would have never gained that realization had I not actually sat down and thought about it for a quick sec. Because people think they gotta work these jobs and it's just meant for them and they gotta work these jobs and that's all there is to it. But usually there's a lesson behind it. I find working crappy jobs and working bad jobs. You know, for a summer I worked at an ice cream parlor. I think for two summers I did actually. I worked at an ice cream parlor and I liked it because my fat self liked the free ice cream. My fat self really enjoyed sneaking a scoop of ice cream here and there. But one thing I really did not like about it was the pay was minimal and it was busy. The tips were great, that was phenomenal, but I just didn't enjoy it. I didn't like working in the food industry. I did two years of culinary and what did I do? I worked in the food industry for a year and a half, almost two, and I left it because I didn't like it. But the reason that I left is because I was aware enough to say that I don't like this, I don't wanna do this. Don't ever get caught up into the trap that just because you went to school for something means you have to pursue it for the rest of your life. Understand that you're bigger than your degree. You're bigger than your education. You're bigger than the thing you went to school for. People get worked up into this idea that they are their schooling degree. They are their job. They are this person. No, you're different. You're bigger than that. You have dreams and aspirations. Figuring out what it is and the lesson you have to learn from working the job you're working in now is gonna propel you farther than most because if I ask somebody at work, what's the lesson you learned from this job? Most people are gonna come to me with a straight answer. They're gonna have to think about it for a quick sec. And if it's good, if they think about it and come to the realization, because that's good. But if you can come to the realization quicker than most, you'll come to success and you'll come to the thing that you want more than most. Don't fall into the rat race. I know it's hard to say because at some point we are all going to fall into the rat race regardless, like our first job, we were definitely in the rat race. But the interesting thing is 
What have you learned from your job? Write down below in the comments, what have you learned from your job? Is it frustration? Is it money management? Is it that you can't be perfect in a perfect world? What is it that you learned from your job? Because that's one thing I've learned from my job is you can't be perfect in a perfect world. People expect perfect, but how can I manage expectations? One thing I carried over from auto body into my detailing business is I had to carry over expectations. When setting a client straight, the first thing I'll tell the client is, I can only do my best, I cannot bring your car you've had for 20 years, 50 15, 12 years with three kids back to lot condition. It's just not possible. What I can do though is I can provide a service for a good amount of money and I can take that and I can make you happy with the product you receive because I'm laying clear expectations. Working in auto body and collision repair, we have people who cannot manage expectations. It's very hard as a commercial body shop to tell people that we cannot bring your car back to lot condition. We are humans. You're getting a car manufactured by robots. You're getting a car manufactured by people who are expecting perfect. And we always cannot execute on being perfect. I've learned how to manage expectations, but I've come to the realization that now I've learned that, now I know what I need to bring to the next level. Now I know what I need to bring to the next job. So ask yourself, what have you learned from this crappy job you've been working? What skills can you take and what skills can you apply to go work your next job or go do whatever it is you wanna do? And if you're one of those people who doesn't like what they're doing, may I suggest to you that join a community down below of people who don't like what they're doing, the self-improvement lab community, because all of us down below are trying to have a better life for ourselves. All of us down below are trying to create a future for ourselves, and all of us down below are actually becoming better. See, when one of us becomes better, the other person can't help but become better. Join us down below, the self-improvement lab community. It costs you nothing, it's free. Don't be a stranger, don't be shy. Join down below for free at the Self Improvement Lab community. You know, one thing I've come to the realization of is sometimes what you're going through in your job is your come up. People pray for salvation and people pray for fame and riches and glory and I was caught into this trap too, not realizing sometimes that what comes with that is the story behind it. See, we all love the story of the underdog. Goodwill Hunting put it perfectly. You know, we see Will Smith depicted as this person who had no money, who came up into riches and fame and glory, working for the company he always wanted to, providing for his son. But we always forget that that part of the story sometimes has to happen to people like us. See, we find it very strange. We curse God and we say that, why would he have this happen in my life? And we don't refrain the thinking and think, that's great because I wanted to become successful. So when I become successful, the story is gonna help me spread the message and it's gonna help me gather people. Interesting, isn't it? But it's not until you refrain you're thinking about this certain thing. We always pray for fame and we pray for riches and we pray for this, that, or the other thing, salvation. But sometimes going through the struggles of working a bad job, going through the struggles of dealing with difficult people is always gonna make you better. It's putting your story, think about it for an instance. You've seen army veterans with no legs and no arms, but their story is impactful. They didn't wanna have their arms and legs ripped off. Who wants to have their arms and legs ripped off? You look me straight dead in the eye and say that you wanna have both your feeble arms and your able legs ripped off in war? I don't think you do. They didn't want it either. They wanted to go home and drive their Mustang. That's a joke or a Camaro for all you people out there. They wanted to go home and they wanted to do that. They wanted to go home and be able to lift their baby up. They wanted to go home and be able to sign a piece of paper. They wanted to go home and be able to kick a soccer ball with their kid or throw a football with their kid. But now they have no arm and legs. They did not want that to happen because sometimes things like that happen in our lives. It means that when we get to that point in our life where we know we can become better, we have a story. We've been through things and that makes it impactful. That might have put us in the position that we've always wanted, but we didn't intend for it to go that way. Working a bad job is never fun. And working a bad job is never easy. But one thing that's always easy is finding out what the lesson to be learned in the job is. Enjoy what you do. Don't enjoy the people you're around. Become a better version of yourself and let people in on the success. One thing I highly suggest you do is go down below into the comments and share an experience with us down below about how you overcame the struggle or how you worked a bad job when you were 15 and that made you create a business where you didn't have that same environment. We all go through bad times and we all go through hard times. My message to you today is, what's the lesson you can take away from that certain subject? What's the lesson you can take away from that certain job? And what's the lesson you want to share with the world? Because if you want fame and riches and you want to become somebody who people look at and go, he's a good man, then I highly suggest you refrain your thinking from why is this happening to me to I'm glad it's happening to me. Everybody, thank you so much for tuning in. This has been a self-improvement lab lesson with Zachary, D'Anthony, Zach, whatever you want to call me. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Peace.